Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us in becoming one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. State of our union, racism and rape, yes. Immigration reform, hell no. Generations after generations embrace, succumb to, or master their own weapons of mass destruction. So powerfully hashtagged, we self-distract with Instagram. From ears ringing out the cries of gunshots victims, our wisdom diffused by selective sight, clouded by summer and tear gas smoke. So rigorous in our southern border tastes, we're inflamed, fearing losing something we never wanted. Hyperlinking hot air rhetoric with blustering inaction, dishonoring both past and present without shame, conservatives steep our national integrity into the depressed state of our union while blaming the help for the stench of our golden rule in rigor mortis. Ask victims, not perpetrators. Amnesty. Ask your undocumented lawns keeper. Pride. Ask those who clean our toilets for minimum wage. Human rights. Ask migrant farm workers. Self-esteem. Ask women paid less than men for the same work. Financial stability. Ask students overwhelmed by banks. Life. Ask those found guilty of neighborhood. Net neutrality. Ask parents of children dead by bullicide. Do we really believe it's the accident of birth that guarantees the least of these our brethren the indignities of discrimination, bullying, rape, and murder by a racist police state, drugged and beaten by household names, alcohol-induced raped by fellow students? Whomever the perpetrator, the targets are the same, and as purposely chosen as those who were served up to bad mortgages and selected bankrupt credit score reporting. When home of the brave citizens disintegrate from culture of character to culture of stonewalling our little brown brothers from having work we wouldn't stoop to conquer, our Congress reflects hypocrisy of corporatism stamped conservatives. American power is diminished when Americans turn away from those traumatized by poverty, bullying, unjust imprisonment, rape, and racial discrimination. Sadly, it's too late to ask the amazingly talented gift to America, immigrant Mike Nichols. But immigrants still work all around us, trying like us to support families, but unlike most of us, doing so by harvesting the food we eat and cleaning up after we eat it. As rite of passage, each nationality reaching our shores was prejudiced against by the immigrants who came before. Yet each shared in our history, Pearl Harbor, Cuban Missile Crisis, 9-11, Katrina, Boston bombing. But since the Reagan administration, conservatives like Koch Brothers, BP, and Jim DeMint's Heritage Foundation have been allowed to turn us into sitcom characters with mind-numbing, truth-twisting TV ads until we glaze over like holiday turkeys. We remember November 22nd, 1963, as the day President John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated, but ignore June 11th, 1963, the day he proposed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 to the 88th Congress. Can we not now insist the 113th or 114th Congress pass an immigration reform bill as a moral human rights issue rather than their vacation political football? Let's turn our back on Boehner hypocrisy and treasonous one-term president anti-American Mitch McConnell rhetoric and step up for families forced into hiding and women forced to endure the trauma of rape in silence. Let us free ourselves from imprisoning people guilty only of their skin color and resuscitate our Ellis Island promise. Let us salute the patriotism of a U.S. Marine Corps Captain Derek Herrera rather than preserving the 19th century prejudice of conservative Mo Brooks. Let us be courageous enough to share the home of the brave, rather than cheer a House of Representatives that divides us. Let us give thanks to Native Americans giving us our first Thanksgiving, rather than deny races racing to contribute to our land of the free melting pot. Let our free will keep Lady Liberty's torch alive, instead of branding ourselves the Great White Hope. 
executive, legislative, and judicial branches of government are charged with being the humane and equitable voice protecting our republic, especially perhaps from extremists abusing democracy by victimizing the vanquished. We keep our humanity safe by saving each other, or we follow Cain and live the murderous consequences of conservatism. Join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Thank you.